and welcome back to Trend Location. How are you guys doing? We hope you're having an amazing day and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best places to visit in the Caribbean. But before we do begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And without further ado, let's get right into this one. First up, Turks and Caicos. Travel to the Turks and Caicos Islands to see some of the most beautiful beaches in the Caribbean, including Grace Bay, home to one of the largest barrier reef systems in the world. This collection of coral reefs also offers unforgettable experiences for snorkelers and scuba divers. Whether you choose to spend whether you choose to spend the bulk of your time on land or underwater, these islands make a wonderful retreat for those seeking maximum comfort in a tropical setting. Through hotel prices, but they can be a little higher here in, than in other places, especially during peak winter season. Cayman Islands, one of the most scenic spots in the Caribbean. The Cayman Islands is a home to premier dive site, including Eden Rock and Devil's Grotto, as well as plenty of crescent-shaped shorelines. For travelers who are willing to go knee-deep, there's Stingray City, which offers clear water, a shallow sandbar, and opportunities to swim with stingrays. During the summer months, the archipelago features some hotel deals and affordable vacation rentals compared to other Caribbean islands, so you can enjoy the white sandy beaches and scenery without ruining your vacation budget. U.S. Virgin Islands Spring is the time to travel to the U.S. Virgin Islands, of course. Particularly in late April when the boisterous carnival season is in St. Thomas gets underway. Spend the day enjoying the unspoiled beauty of one of the many beaches along St. John's shoreline, including popular Trunk Bay Beach, or visit a St. Croix fort for a bit of a Danish colonial history while on vacation. The best part? Americans don't need a passport to visit these Caribbean islands. St. Kitts and Nevis St. Kitts garners its popularity in part from the soft sands and the buzzing nightlife of Frigate Bay. While many choose to vacation here to relax at a resort on the beach and enjoy delicious cuisine, think tasty food and fresh fruit. This destination offers plenty in the way of culture as well. It hosts excellent festivals like St. Kitts and Nunavis, National Carnival, and the St. Kitts Music Festival. When you need a break from the action, hop on a ferry for a day trip to the quieter island of Nevis, where you'll find Uli and Pinney's beaches, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Comparing 32 islands, St. Vincent and the Grenadines has something to offer every traveler. Every time on the biggest island of St. Vincent and its capital and the port city, Kingstown, where you'll find a lush botanical garden and fresh fish and produce markets. Then hop on a boat and sail between the other many remote islands for diving, snorkeling, golfing, sunbathing, and photo ops. No matter how you choose to pass the time, a trip to this destination will be one for the books. Curacao. As one of the ABC islands, along with Aruba and Bonaire, Curacao sits outside the hurricane belt, meaning you'll find sunny, pleasant temperatures year-round and little fret from swirling storms that can wreak havoc in the Caribbean. And this is all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this and yeah, much, much more. We'll see you guys on the next time and until then, take care. Bye guys!